Every class in Destiny is made up of two subclasses, each with its own unique special abilities, skill modifiers, and stylistic nuances. However, because you can't unlock your Guardian's second subclass until level 15, we're breaking down the pros and cons of each one ahead of time so you can make an informed decision, because nobody wants to pour hours into a character only to discover that it half sucks. First up is the Voidwalker, the Warlock starting subclass. The Voidwalker is the darker, edgier subclass of the two, focusing primarily on dealing damage, draining the very life from foes, and putting them in a deeply uncomfortable position, much like the Wayback Seat in my Volvo. The Voidwalker's super ability is the Nova Bomb, a massive projectile that deals devastating damage in a large area of effect. This secret weapon is clutch in PvP and PvE situations alike, and it only grows more powerful over time, as later skill unlocks place a damaging vortex at the site of impact and split the Nova into multiple smaller bombs. Not only is this super ability super powerful, but it's also super satisfying to use. Dumping an energy ball on your enemies and watching them dissolve into the ether is the destiny equivalent of peeling that plastic screen off a new monitor. The starting grenade of the Voidwalker is much like a weaker version of the Nova Bomb, as it creates a damaging vortex much in the same way. These two abilities add an element of crowd control to the Warlock that strengthens the class's secondary role as a support class. The Voidwalker's other grenades are a Scatter Bomb, which I found greatly underpowered, and the Axion Bolt, which seems to be some sort of Sith Lord Chain Lightning ability that I have yet to unlock. The death dealing doesn't end here, however, as the Voidwalker's energy drain ability is equally useful for putting down intergalactic scoundrels. This skill allows your melee to suck the life from your foes, recharging your grenades at their expense. The Surge ability modifier further empowers your melee strikes by granting temporarily increased weapon and movement speed after each successful use. Additional upgrades cause the ability to recharge your Nova Bomb and steal health with a kill shot as well, increasing the survivability and deadliness of the glass cannon that is the Warlock. After passing level 15, Destiny's OG Space Wizard has the opportunity to opt into the aptly named Sunsinger class. The Sunsinger is not incredibly different than the stock Warlock at first. Their stat modifiers are exactly the same, and glide jump unlocks are nearly identical. However, as you progress deeper into the skill tree, the advantages and disadvantages become increasingly apparent. Most prominent is the replacement of the Nova Bomb with the Radiance skill. At first, many of you may feel the same pang of disappointment that I did. Where's my giant f***ing spirit bomb, you might ask? Well, fear not, because Radiance does indeed have a purpose beyond the human glow stick angle. Activating this skill causes the Warlock's other abilities to regenerate at a ridiculous rate, allowing you to spam out a handful of grenades and a couple fiery punches in short order before you run out of juice. Considering the Sunsinger's grenades, among which are a fire spec to look alike of the Vortex and a Halo-esque sticky grenade, this is a fairly decent replacement for the Nova Bomb. It's worth noting that Gift of the Sun also grants an extra grenade for each recharge, enabling you to make it literally rain nades when combined with your super. Further unlocks enable Radiance to reduce allies' cooldowns, reduce incoming damage, and self-revive from the grave, giving the Sunsinger a distinctly support and survival-oriented tinge, much like a priest or a paladin of the MMO elk. The melee ability for the Sunsinger is called Scorch, and it is very satisfying. This fits squarely into a few fire-based abilities that ignite enemies for more damage after the initial hit. Deeper into the skill tree, Scorch also triggers a flame shield upon a successful kill, significantly reducing damage for a short time, which can make all the difference during a hairy firefight. Overall, the Sunsinger seems to be best suited for individuals who prefer to play with groups or support others, rather than dish out pure, unadulterated damage. Honestly though, in my time with Destiny I felt a definite preference for the Voidwalker subclass. It's not that the Sunsinger is a bad choice, it's just that I felt the Radiance ability diffused the damage I was capable of dishing out into many small bursts via grenades and melee strikes, as opposed to the Nova Bomb which funnels all that damage into one controlled burst. Further, the capability to leech health from Grenemies with melee is possibly the most useful skill on the Warlock path considering the fragility of the Space Mage. While you can always switch back and forth between the two classes, you'll only accrue skills for the class that's currently active, so be mindful of what you've got equipped if you're reaching for that next ability unlock. Don't be timid though, give both a shot for yourself before you decide which one's for you. You're a Space Wizard, goddammit, and nobody tells a Space Wizard what to do.